First question is from M Oat Five. When trying to build a legging body part, how do you incorporate it into your routine, or do you just have to change? up your workout more dedicated to the legging body part. This person obviously does not have MAPS Aesthetic. Yeah, or, so, yeah MAPS Aesthetic or MAPS Prime. You know? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. No, but I mean, MAPS Aesthetic was literally designed with this in mind. Like mm-hmm. it was literally uh, created around how I would train for a show and each time I train for a show, I would focus on one or two muscle groups that were lagging body parts that I was trying to develop and bring up and how we implement uh, the increased volume in a program to do that specifically is in there. And it's customizable. So if, you know, the program's designed that if, you know, if yours is shoulders and somebody else's butt and hamstring, that you just kind of plug and play and we teach you how to build that volume in. Yeah, so essentially what the traditional advice, which is good advice, is what Adam's talking about, which is you do more volume, you do more sets, for that lagging body part. You actually put more work in for that specific lagging body part. And the way we do it in MAPS Aesthetic, and this is something you can do even on your own, is on the days that you're not supposed to work that body part, you throw in a few extra moderate intensity sets to increase the volume. But here's the deal. If you have a lagging body part because you you don't connect well to that muscle group, which is common, mm-hmm. okay? It's, it's oftentimes like... Let's say glutes are your weak body part and you're thinking, okay, I'm going to do more of the glute exercises, squats and deadlifts and single leg deadlifts and all that stuff. If you don't connect well to the glutes, you're still going to have trouble because all that extra volume might actually develop all surrounding. All still going to go into the quads. Yeah, and it's exactly. It might go into other body parts. So what you might want to do is rather than just adding more work is focus on how you connect to that new body part, how you can feel that new body part through squeezing more, through slowing down the reps. Really focus on feeling that muscle do the work rather than just going through the motions of the exercise. Now that can be done with really, really good proper mobility work. I'm not talking about flexibility. I'm talking about connecting to those muscle groups. 90-90, for example, if done properly, will help you connect to your glutes. You can do this with almost any body part. You can go through a mobility workout for these areas and connect to these muscle groups. Then when you go work out, you'll feel them more. So MAPS Prime, believe it or not, I know it's a, a priming workout. helps you connect to the exercise, all that stuff. It's also phenomenal for bringing up lagging body parts because oftentimes what you'll find when you do your assessments is, oh, I'm not moving right. And oftentimes that's because I'm not connecting. Well, almost to certain muscles. always it's that. Yeah, almost right. always the the root reason why a muscle group is not developing. If you're working it out, right? So if you're evenly working it out with all the other muscles, there's you know, and people are like, it doesn't make sense. I, you know, I train my butt as much or more than I train legs and all these other muscle groups, and yet it's not developing at the same rate. It's always a connection issue. It's right. always you're not connecting to it very well. So that's where priming. I mean. Prime and aesthetic. Like if you if you don't have those, that's an incredible investment. And and at bare minimum, if you don't do either one of those, then at least it go to Justin and, and uh, the webinar that I did. So those two webinars that are free, go through that and utilize that and apply some of those tools. If you don't want to invest in anything, yeah. And that's mm-hmm. the Maps Prime webinar, I believe. And there's there's assessments in there. He actually teaches you how to do this and what priming looks like. But really, the focus is if you have a lagging body part, feel that muscle. When you do exercises, get get to a point where you can really feel it doing the the exercise, and then when you add volume, the extra volume is going to go to the body part that you're trying to target. 